Hello everyone, welcome back to Pause Trump Plays Record. Alright, so I am actually, whoops. I'm actually out at the cradle area, and I'm trying to get into the House of Steel. Uh, now there are a couple of caveats to that. One is, the House of Steel requires, um, spider bot. Oh nice, I'm level 24. We actually hit, uh, level 25, I think, off camera. Let me double check on that, yeah. Um, I was trying to get to the House of Steel and just gonna start the episode there, but couldn't actually get to it. Um, so the House of Steel actually says it requires the spider bot. Um, however, uh, it still needs other bits, um, little power cell robots to get in there. And while I was wandering around looking for them, I noticed that there was um, a flyer vent here that I need to use, and it looks like on that s big center structure there is a punchable thingamabobber. Uh, I'm not going to kill this spider bot again. Unfortunately, uh, one of the main downsides right now of having to not use the bots I was using is that I currently really have an objective for killing purple um, purple canine units with my canine unit available and there is one right around here I actually got credit for one of those but I can't have him with me because I need both of these in order to get this stuff so might end up having to farm that one off camera at some point I think it's like right around here too where it shows up but um, so let's see how we get over there now the, the flyer vent is up that way, but let's try to go across here. And I'm assuming I can just, uh, you know what, why don't we pull up flyer just in case. Assuming I can make my way across here, this way. Seems like it's quite the gap, doesn't it? You know what, let's fly here glide our way down. Now, how I'm going to get back there, I have no idea. But we'll figure that out. Yes, it is a punchable. Okay, good. I thought so. It looked like it from a distance, but I wasn't 100%. And this should be a prismatic core. And there's another core up by where the flyer is needed. Now, we have enough cores for the next floor, but I'm technically one level short and um, we are going to need, again, 45 to complete the game. So I figure I might as well take the opportunity while we're in exploration mode and grab uh, some more of these. I see a um, fast travel over there. Unfortunately, okay, good. I did have it activated. I was gonna say, unfortunately, that requires a spider track, but. So, what I'm actually gonna do is just fast travel back over. It's a little silly, but. Again, yeah, man, if they could have figured out how to just. Whoa, what? Oh, this isn't a fast travel. It's a. What's up, Violet? Oh, weird. I guess it was, but it, it's like a one way fast travel? That's super bizarre. Um, yeah, man, if they could have just figured out a way to to be able to use, I guess, at least the the three travel frames. I don't know. I guess you, we would have needed a fourth core for that, but it would have made the backtracking so much more convenient. And it's actually, like, I really like the backtracking. It's kind of got that Metroidvania aspect of, you know, searching for upgrades and things like that. I really like that. There's been a lot of comments on the last video. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten to respond to them yet, but... Um, there's been a lot of comments talking about it in the last video, which is interesting to see the discussion, because it's... Kind of a, a mixed bag. It's, you know, a combination of... People realizing that, you know, one, the game was cheap, relatively speaking. Um, What's well, otherwise a, a AAA title. Um, but does feel like they might have skimped out on some things or could have used a little more time or you know they were really just trying to extend gameplay things like that so kind of an interesting mix 
I really should get that part over there. It might be one of the ones I need. There we go. Alright, so we need the flyer here. I think there might have been a spider track item that I needed to get over there as well. The flyer bit is over this way. And I need to I need to double check. I think I need a red power cell for this thing here. Check on that. Let's see. I think the green one is in, green one is in. Oh no, looks like I might need another green one here. Or is that one actually in? No, 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 I need a red one, okay. Yeah, so that is, there's another power cell somewhere around here. I don't know if I'm gonna end up having to look that one up, because I have no idea where it could be. Usually they're pretty damn close by. I'll take a quick check over this way. Apologies for the camera insanity here. I feel like this is not actually... Oh, yeah, okay, that's not terrain we're supposed to be traveling. I don't know what is exploding down there. Alright, so this is a flyer vent. We can actually just activate the vent. Alright, so this will at least give me a... Prismatic core. I'm kind of hoping that... So also lead to the other power cell. Not. Nah, I might pause the video and just find it so we can try to do that other dungeon. Or I might just do some exploration here. I don't know. So many things to uh, to potentially do here. Oh, what does the map look like? It's the cradle. There's a core and a cache over by the other side of the cradle. A power cell in there? I don't see a power cell in there. It would be flashing red. Hmm. Where he is? Well, we could head up and find this core here. I'm trying to think at what the best way to get over there is. Probably just straight over this way. This area is so huge, too. I mean, it, this thing could be anywhere. Probably a situation where I'll just have to look it up. For the sake of, uh, my own sanity, basically. Oh, wait a minute. Is that it right there? That's it right there. Oh, no, it's not. Damn it. <laughs> I saw a red glow. I got all excited. It was just a part. My only concern here is I don't have the spider with me. Maybe I should grab him for this. There's a cache there. Yeah, you know what? Let me just hit this fast travel. I should be able to grab uh, Seth here. I believe I have him in the in the spider suit right now. What's up, Violet? So I want Mac and Seth. Yeah, there we go. Now, I can't swap cores around in that menu, but I do still need to go back to the crawler for that, but... Yeah, but there should be a way to get up into those areas. I wonder if I can fly her over there, actually? I've heard uh, that there are potentially some cores that are actually buried in the ground, too, so... I have to go on a little bit of a treasure hunt somewhere along the way. Alright, let's see if I can make this. Time to fly. I don't know. Yeah, we'll make it. Nice. Inside here is... Iron Tusk. Blue Iron Tusk. And some worn parts. Now I would like to... Yeah. Alright, this is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see what kind of terrain was over here. Boy, you know what? I wonder if I could actually... Nah, I can't jump high enough for that. Alright, we'll take the spider ball track. 
also a green monkey down here. That one, Mac. He's only level seven, but Blast him, Mac. probably still worth it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get him, Mac. There we go. This is a rare core, level seven. Probably decent. So we should be able to hop up here now. Boy, that outfit is ridiculous. Is there anything up here? Where are we on the map? Um, that prismatic is to my left. Could be at the top of all of this. Whoa, okay, this is going oh a little further than I thought it would. Actually surprised that caught me there. Now where am I? <laughs> now nope, this did not take me where I thought it was going to. It feels like there's another oh man, there's a punchy thing up there too. How do we get through that? Well, I can see where I can get myself inside the tower at least. Why don't we do that while I have Flyer out? I might need to swap. How do I get up there? It has to be on the track, right? Hmm. Well, if this is going to be... You must be able to get up there with only spider, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to use monkey to open that, uh, that rock. So, I'll swap here. Hey, Violet. We'll take Seth and Duncan. Go. This is one of those times where I'm like, boy, there are probably easier cores for me to get, but now it's just a matter of personal pride. I want to know how you get up there. I will go pick up these parts because there are, I do need more parts, uh, even though these are level ones. Um, but. Oh, all right. Don't stir the horn's nest. Um, I do need to upgrade a couple of things. So even though they're level one parts, I can always combine them. How do I get up there? Give me a lift. Is there like a place I can sneak in there? Gotta be right. Let's go, Sam. I feel like maybe this wasn't the right way. Okay. <laughs> well, it gets me this. Smash that, Duncan. Oh, it's just a hole. Huh. Okay. So maybe this was the way to get in here. This is a prismatic core. This is the prismatic core that I was looking for. You're you're blocking the shot, Duncan. Nice, All right, so that's 39. We only need six more. Um, boy, where is that red bot though? That little red power cell. Where are you, buddy? So we have another one, another prismatic cores on the other side of the cradle. best way over there, I wonder. 
Is it actually taking the spider ball track all the way around? Nah, probably not. I actually see what looks like a fast travel I never opened over there. That's very silly of me. I should have done that. Go hit that right now. Oh, and there's a supply cache over there too that I never touched. I'm sure there are some dungeons um, on my like that aren't on my map yet either that I just haven't found. All right, good. So that's open. Well, that helps a bunch. What is this here? Can we access this? Oh, this just goes. Okay, yeah, we've been here before. How did I not activate this? Fast travel before. Hmm. That's kind of weird. There's a dig spot. Alright, what do we got? Let's go. Oops, here, wrong Seth. side. To me. Maybe? Seth, come on. Over here, Seth. Oh, no, it was on the right side. Whoa. Oh, hello. We'll just do one of those. Ooh, we haven't seen many trapped supply caches before. Is that the first one, in fact? Nah, it can't be. White uh, orangutan head. Spider magnets. This seems dangerous. Um, that other. Oh, okay. It must be in here. Can I get up there? Yeah. Okay. I could. Well, this will make 40. Five to go. Which makes me wonder, then, what else do you unlock with the remaining course? I mean, I know there's that one arena dungeon, for sure. Um, so there's obviously stuff there to unlock, but what else is there to unlock? Anything? Is it just that one dungeon? Well, since we're in exploration mode here, I definitely, uh, I don't have time right now to do um, a whole dungeon. Let's go. Continue exploring. Let's see if we can clear up the rest of this area. So there were, uh, so there was a supply cache and a core out here. Oh, there's no loading screen if you're actually in the same area. That's uh, pretty cool, I must say. Uh, let's see, it is this way. Ah, it needs the flyer, though. Flyer and what? A damn good question. Oh boy, a little vertigo there. Um, I don't know. <laughs> let's do this, Violet. Oh, except I don't have the flyer. Let me think about this for a second. Where's the supply cache too? Is that also over there? Boy, I really wish I could see what else I might need over there because I don't have the flyer core equipped. Is that a punchy rock down there? Or is that just a regular rock? See where I'm looking, right? Like right down there. Why don't we see if it's a punchy rock because if it is oh nope it was just an out of focus geometry <laughs> jokes on me is there anything else over here oh okay the supply cache is down here 
So we can just get that now before I, I go and swap the cores. There's also, interestingly enough, a, a dig spot there. Makes me curious. Let him have it, Seth. What else we got? What do we got here? We got uh, Yellow Wild Child Augment. I'm tempted to dig this spot. Yeah, why not, right? Like, we're gonna have to swap around cores anyway. So why don't I dig that spot and we'll see, um, see if we come up with anything. I mean, it might just be nothing. But I think it's worth, um, Worth doing while I'm I'm fiddling around with this. All right, so we'll put um, put Mac back as dog. We'll put Seth as a flyer, and then we'll take Mac and Seth. I'm trying to like make sure I get this right. I always forget if the fast travel does fast travel give you a prompt for a um, team as well. I don't remember. Yeah, is that Tyrant's Forge requires 75 cores. That's nuts. No, it's not gonna problem. I'm gonna have to swap out the fast travel. Fortunately, you can do that. I don't have to go back to the um, the crawler for that. Let's do this. I need Mac and Seth. Yes. So first order of business. Oh wait a minute. Am I gonna be able to get back up here though? Ah, uh, that's. I'm not sure. So why don't I do this first, just in case? I keep blowing these up and then not picking up the the remnants. Seth, time to fly. There we go. Oh, this is just a supply cache, but there's a core somewhere around here too, right? Maybe that core is buried. This ought to be good. Wild child, hind legs. So that core, so maybe the core is what's buried there. It's entirely possible. Just looking to see, make sure that I'm not missing something else obvious. I was gonna say, there's something here, right? Boy, I really hope this is the core after all this. Oh, sure isn't. Well, um, God, it says that core is like there. What am I missing here? Boy, I hope this is one of those things that's like super obvious and I'm just being doofus about it. What is what was that all about? Oh, it's one of those things. It's, it says that core is here. But... Is there another vent somewhere I can get back up? So how's everybody doing as I sit here 
and wander about aimlessly. There's another dig spot here, at least, and another supply cache. So we're not, not totally useless, but... Take a look, buddy. Boy, I'm, I feel like I'm probably missing the obvious. Alright, what do you got for me, Mac? Another worn part. We just found another supply yeah, cache, so that's good. something. We almost got the whole yellow wild child set. I'm gonna take one more look up there for that core. Um, of course you need a spider ball track. This is where I will agree that the backtracking gets a little silly when um, you have to do what I'm doing right now, which is the constant swapping. Do I do I still have my spider? No, I didn't because I took Seth out of there. Right. And your fast travel is this way. Probably should have swapped there. Wow, I feel like um, our spider bot blast is much bigger than it used to be. This one is already active, right? Yeah, this was the platforms. Boy, it's really gonna bug me not to find that one. Let's do this, Violet. Let me at least see if I can see it, um, first of all. Yeah, let's fast travel here. Is it up top? Oh wait, no, I do have Flyer. I have... I thought I had Seth and Spiderbot. I am... So, you know, sometimes... Of course I didn't, because I said I couldn't do the spider track. Oh my god. My brain, my brain is frying. Unfortunately, I can't look up while I'm doing this. Um. Oh, there it is. I just saw it. It's over here. Nice, there we go. Okay. And this is a crate that doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, geometry. All right, that's 41 cores. Nice. Uh, so I think what I'll do for um, next episode... Uh, again, I still have more E-Turner than I could possibly ever use. So I think what I'll do for next episode is I will find a way to get this last um, Power Cell bot. And we'll go and we'll do the House of Steel. How many cores will that give me? 44. So if we do the House of Steel and then grab one more core, I can probably uh, mainline through to the end of the game. Um, where is there another core on my map? I don't think there is, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of exploration in the desert here. I'm sure there's a ton of cores out here that I haven't seen. Oh wait, does that... Hold on, does the fast travel map... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, there's there's cores everywhere. So I think that's what we'll do. Next episode, we will do... Um, I'll find the power cell. I'll probably try to start with where that power cell is. Then we'll go do House of Steel. Finish off the uh, requirements. And then probably after that, the next episodes will be... 
going through the rest of the tower and the story and seeing what happens. So that will do it for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of a slow paced episode. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you did, click like. Helps a bunch. Subscribe for more as always. And I will see you soon.